But my question for you today is, is why do this? Why, why gather together and come build a garden, plant a garden? In the face of the world's big and dramatic and horrific problems, why come do a garden? Why come do this little piece? What difference could it possibly make in the breadth of all that's going on in our world, all the darkness, all the pain, all the hopelessness? But perhaps, perhaps a story will help. In the beginning, there was a great big nothing, a holy nothing that was also somehow everything. And at some point, a great light poured forth from this nothing, creating the whole world and everything in it. But then, the light shattered, and small shards of light went into every person and into every event. And we are called, we are born into gathering those shards of light and participating in reclaiming the wholeness, in restoring the world. So why do this? Why here? Why now? Why not? Why not find the light, the little shards of light here in our neighborhoods, here in this garden, and here in each and every one of you? You may not feel like it's doing a whole lot to change or reverse the tide of the whole wide world, but I tell you that it does. I tell you that in each event, in each person, in all of your life, there are shards of light. And you're charged to find those, to hold them up, and to participate in the restoration of the world. And we'll continue to come together and show each other where we're finding light, where we're finding hope, how we're seeing it, how we're bringing it together ourselves, and encourage each other towards continued restoration in this world. So why here and why now? Because there's light in it. There's goodness in it. There's peace in it. There's love in it. Today we participate in the restoration of the world. Right here, right now. Let it be. For some general uh, instructions for our work, um, Clint, do you sort of have the plan?